Hello and welcome, I'm Liam the Music Reviewer. Shark Tale is a bad film. It's, it's a bad film. And this new Jack White album, it's... It is pure shite. It's pure shite. Jack White, you'll probably know from the White Stripes, an award winning duo they are often cited as being one of the most influential and iconic um, acts of the of the noughties. And with albums like Elephant, Icky Thump, White Blood Cells, Get Behind Me Satan, it's, it's very hard to argue that White Blood Cells is one of my favourite alt rock albums of the century as far as I'm concerned. So yeah, that kind of acclaim is well justified but since um, they broke up in 2011 they didn't drop an album since 2009. Uh, Jack White's pretty much been kind of like just doing um, just other projects um, to to mix sort of um, success. Um, he's had acts like the Raconteur, sorry if I've mispronounced that, um, during the White Stripes. Um, he had uh, the Dead Weather, who actually released an album not too long ago, but both of these acts have never really struck a chord with me. They've been pretty much very run of the mill, bar a single here or there that I might go back to every so often. Um, but it's been a solo career where most of his commercial and critical success has um, came about. Um, back with his debut album, Blunderbuss, that was where um, people started to kind of like think, well, maybe Jack White does have a career outside of um, like group performances. Uh, Blunderbuss had some really, really um, good blues rock cuts which showed um, his true potential as a solo performer, the one that comes to mind right away, uh, something like Sixteen Saltines. He then followed this up with Lazaretto, which I feel is perfectly fine. I don't think it's great, I don't think it's terrible either. It has some of his best work today, if you ask me. Um, the eponymous uh, title um, track is easily one of the best things that he's came out with, and I still go back to that every so often. Often. Was it as good as Blunderbuss? I wouldn't say so. I don't think anything that he's made is totally won me over. I think his debut uh, solo album is, is great and I think it does. I'll come back to it every so often, but he's yet to make anything that I would put, I would regard as highly as something by the White Stripes. This leads up to this album here, Boarding House Ranch, and more like Boarding House Ranch. It's just, just a total disappointment uh i just really find it hard to say really anything positive about it and um, like up front i've listened to this album uh pretty much about four or five times at this point hoping that something will eventually click that it will eventually i'll have this like epiphany and realize oh this is like really like avant-garde take on blues rock but it, it's not it's not and my expectations were never really sky high to begin with uh, connected by love was a track I saw uh, it was very divided reaction I saw a lot of people go oh this is such an interesting direction whereas people like myself were kind of firmly in the viewpoint that this was just very dull lyrically it's it's horrible like while Jack White has never been a musician who prides himself on his lyrics there's certainly songs um from his career like with the white stripes where he shows that he's not terrible at them not quite like what it is with connected by love where you could argue that he's trying to do a lot of different things here but just none of it lands it just completely falls flat on its face my gripes with connected by love could pretty much be applied to most of this album and that is that everything just feels lazy and like every like element of its songwriting from the lyrics to the almost amateurish um, production which I expect from most kind of like up and coming acts let alone a uh, artist with god knows how many decades um, in this in this realm of entertainment so for Jack White to almost come off as being like like a bad rendition of his own music he's always trying to like deconstruct himself and that's always very interesting when an artist um, has this career as a certain type of musician and wants to do some sort of uh, unique spin on it but nothing about Boarding House Ranch is ever anything close to being interesting. Ice Station Zebra is, oh, it's it's completely an early once in just an, um, while I think certain bits of it are certainly like nice enough to kind of like the meshing of piano and this whirring noise, they all do a, a solid, solid job. They, they, they establish the found, the foundations of it for 
for for Jack White to attempt to rap and honestly this is this is painful like he cannot one he can't rap two how he raps is almost like he's he's he saw like some sort of like nineties like like M- when MC Hammer was trying to rap it's it's oh, I, I'm I, like I'm almost like I'm stuttering just now because I'm I'm struggling to find the words because it, it's not like white people can't rap like there's people like LP and John Wayne even somebody like Mac Miller who showed that like yeah that is utterly they're utterly competent at it Jack White tries it once here is is almost like an attempt to be influential or in the terms of like being influential to blues rock to like bring in this new kind of like delivery style but it just comes off as tacky like almost like a gimmick over and over and over is definitely the saving grace of this album i think if, if it weren't for it i would be rating this a lot a lot lower um and with a little bit of research because yeah reviewers need to actually research before they talk about stuff um it turns out this is actually a track that originates from like 2005 so so basically i think that jack white's went about making this album and went oh, okay let's um I, I need to have something that will like appeal to like his older audience and it's a, sh- it's a shame because it's, it's not like he's doing anything that he's not done already it's it's only kind of good in the context of well he's he's trying to do all this new stuff it's, it's all shit but at least we get something that could have appeared on his last album or the album before that or an album from like a decade ago that being said there's quite a bit of force to this song there's these soulful backing vocals that do pop up quite a lot throughout this album but here it feels totally organic it doesn't feel like it's been kind of like well we should add, we should add something to this song it does feel that it belongs there and it meshes well with everything else and really it's the only thing that well the only time i'll probably return to this album will be to listen to this song it doesn't overstay its welcome but it's certainly not enough to like save an entire album and yeah i just i feel like jack white's creative like fire his creative wit is just starting to just fizzle out here it's it's honestly quite sad to have this album that almost feels like like a parody of jack white like if like weird al yankovic was going to make a blues rock album i feel this would be what would be the result of it like three quarters of this album is just complete and utter boredom for me like i will not come back to this anytime soon the four or five times i listened to it just to review it were more than enough to to affirm my my view that this is just not a, it's not a good album i do appreciate that jack white is also trying to like change his style up trying to like not not to become too stagnant or anything like that but nothing bar an old cut that could have came on a white stripes album is enough to make me think of this of anything more than just a really bad album and um, if you've watched some of the funny people where like adam sandler is making like all these like really like bad films but the joke is that they're so ridiculous that they couldn't ever actually like be movies uh, of course sir now this is there any possible way we could delay the meeting an hour or two i'm having uh, problems with the computer i've been working with has a uh, certain you understand no i don't think we can the japanese are just in town for today you're right sir and that's why i'll be there at five o'clock as promised that feels like the musical equivalent of that i do think that just I, i've always been a bit off with jack white with his views on just in in music in general with like his phones and just like it's, it's almost like child, childish um, nature when it comes to other acts uh, I don't think this album did much to sway my opinion on Jack quite at all yeah it's just like a, a lazy amateurish album from someone that obviously is quite influential and had a lot of respect um, in the music community but just this album doesn't do much to really sway um, anyone I wouldn't recommend this album to anyone apart from like maybe really diehard Jack White fans and even then I don't know if they'll be totally um, converted into this new style he's going for. I'm feeling a solid uh, free <laughs> on this album. If you guys think differently, if you are totally in awe of this album, totally respect that. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I'm more than eager to get a discussion going and see what you guys think. But yeah, I've been Liam the Music Reviewer. Stay safe, stay hydrated and I'll see you guys real soon.